There goes another one. I wonder where they come from. Over there, I think. Come on. So we usually don't have any problems. Like this one here? Yes, we use this one for flight plan. Flight plan? Sure. Pilot has to fill one out each time he flies. It tells him his course, direction, and heading. It's not like Carmack at all. That's right, it isn't. Pilot has to know different things, like how high a mountain is, because if he doesn't, he'll run into it. See, this explains what the symbols mean. This one tells me how high things like radio towers and electric power lines are. That would mean that there's something near the airport Less than a thousand feet high. Right, so if we fly it over a thousand feet... We won't hit it. Right again. Suppose we were to go from Bradley Airport here at Windsor Locks to LaGuardia in New York City. We'd have to know which direction to fly. So we take this string here and we'd find our head. What's that head? 230. That's right, 230 degrees. Okay, now we know that our heading from Windsor Locks to LaGuardia 230 degrees. Now we have to find out how far it is. This is a scale. This scale tells how far this distance in the string is, is in real miles. Edwin, how far is that? 90 miles. A pilot has to know how far he can go or he'll run out of gas before he'll get there. So my flight plan to LaGuardia would say I would fly at an altitude of at least a thousand feet, a heading of 230 degrees in southern direction, and I would fly for 90 miles. So that's what we use a flight plan for. 